Now, I mentioned earlier, and we're running a little short on time, okay. you've got these books here, mm -hmm. and I wanted you to just take a few moments and explain who the Blessed Five were. The Blessed you're Five. Part of the that. Blessed Five. Well, yes, that's the a tentative title of my new book. Oh, okay. Yes, Great. that I'm working on. Okay. Uh, the Blessed Five. And uh, when I say the Blessed Five, there were five of us who spent five hours on April 4th, 1968, in my hotel room at the Lorraine Motel, wow. uh, waiting for uh, Andy Young and the attorney, Chelsea Estridge, to return from the courthouse to give us a report on the injunction that had been issued against the marchers. Okay. And those five were Dr. Martin Luther King, Reverend A.D. Williams King. Brother. Yes, his brother, and Reverend David Abernathy, Ralph David Abernathy, okay. uh, Lucretia Ward, who was from Louisville, and myself, the five wow. of us. We spent five hours together that day. Very seldom do you read what, what Dr. King was doing that day. Mm -hmm. what, what did he do that day before he was assassinated? Well, he and Abernathy and uh, the others knocked on my door about noon that day. Mm -hmm. And it was a relaxed day. Dr. King... Uh, was very reticent at times. He mm -hmm. would lie on the bed and look at the ceiling and be in deep thought when uh, his brother and Abernathy mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and myself, we would just uh, be talking. And at one point during that time, uh, his brother, A.D. King, called his parents and uh, he talked to his mother a while. Then uh, Dr. King talked to his mother a while. And um, Dr. King had asked us if we were interested in going to Reverend Billy Cow's house, mm -hmm. Samuel Cow's, mm -hmm. uh, to a soul dinner. And uh, he asked me if I was interested. I said, yes. He said, well, you could ride over with me when we get ready to go. Mm -hmm. So after Andy Young and Chelsea Estridge came about 4.30 and made the report, then they left and, uh, excuse me, and the plan was that uh, Dr. King was going up to 306 on the second floor because my room was on the first floor. Okay. And um, he was going to freshen up. Mm -hmm. And he said he'd knock on my door when we were ready to go to Billy Cow's house. So we they left, and I started getting ready to go to dinner. Sure. So I got dressed. And I could hear Dr. King on the balcony speaking down to the crowd in the courtyard. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesse Jackson was in the group, uh, Ben Branch and some others. I knew many of them. Mm -hmm. And I was hungry because we had not eaten that day at all. I, well, I hadn't. Now, they had eaten, I think, uh, Dr. Abernathy and Dr. King had eaten uh, lunch earlier. Mm -hmm.